to whom it may concern, I genuinely want to apologize on behalf of the church as a believer in Jesus. I'm so sorry. Maybe you're listening and you've walked away. You grew up going on Sundays, but one day you open up and they told you to stay away. You walked in with a snap back on and they clap back, told you to step back, sir. They said there's no room for you. I'm sorry for people making Christianity about a specific political view. I'm sorry for them picking their favorite sins and pointing at you. I'm sorry for Christians making it all about the color of the pews more than they cared about you. I'm sorry, I honestly don't even know what to say. There's no excuse. I'm intimidated to even give this word. I just know there's one person that has for sure felt your pain. What's crazy is the shepherd of the sheep was ostracized, misrepresented, and eventually crucified, but most people think it was just the people of Rome and not the ones who were with him or following him, but it was actually his own. One of his closest friends kissed him on the cheek and betrayed him in less than a week. Jesus bent low to still wash his feet, knowing he would talk the talk and quickly leave. You see, God himself was persecuted from his own sheep. I don't know what type of things from Christians you've received, but maybe all you've heard was hellfire and brimstone from the side of the street. You see, the real Messiah was never full of hypocrisy or deceit. He spent so much time at tables at the dinner plate, listening and asking questions, not trying to overcompensate. He told the disciples to break with compassion, not try to dominate. Maybe the kindness in the listening ear is the missing trait of the version of Jesus they tried so hard to indoctrinate. I'm sorry for the Christians who have made it about a ritual. They made it so habitual, they made it legalism, and then they called it spiritual. I'm sorry for all the condemning one-liners on Facebook, but they never took a chance to meet you face to face and hear your story. I'm sorry they made it more about a vaccine. I'm sorry no one has ever reached out to you since COVID-19. Maybe you felt a lack of authenticity. Maybe your small group was so full of toxicity. I'm sorry we made it more about an election. I'm sorry we made it more about rules than connection, but we've been an imperfect reflection of our Savior's perfection. And I know my words probably won't be enough, and some may call it fluff but i pray you hear me genuinely now you are loved you are more than enough you're worth fighting for he would leave the 99 for you rebuke the religious and flip all of the tables for you he will never stop pursuing you he knows the shame you carry that you dread he knows all the suicidal thoughts raging inside your head he knows there's days you'd rather be dead he holds in a bottle every tear you shed he wanted to give you a hope in a future as he hung there and bled he has countless thoughts of love for you to be said and i know i don't know all the details of your circumstance i just pray you give jesus a second chance Love, Andy.